to see you as always. Thanks, Larry. New fallout from the Clinton emails put out by WikiLeaks are now public, including one exchange with the Justice Department that has the Trump team accusing the trip, uh, tr uh, Clinton team of collusion. We will show you what they read. Plus, there is... New video from inside Syria showing the human toll of this five-year war. Stunning stuff. Also a suburban neighborhood rocked by a massive explosion. So what caused this? I ran outside and then I saw a huge explosion. The whole apartment just blew down and it kept falling. This alert now out of Syria. Russian fighter jets resuming heavy bombing of rebel-held eastern Aleppo. Activists say at least 25 are dead, five of them children. The aftermath captured on dramatic video showing rescue workers trying to free a little boy from inside that rubble. Five years on, senior foreign affairs correspondent Greg Palcott live in London for the latest. And Greg, good day. Yeah, it doesn't end, Bill. More death and destruction in what was Syria's largest city. Wave after wave of Russian-led airstrikes pummeling the eastern side of Aleppo. That's where the anti-government rebels are holed up and where some 275,000 people are still trying to live or maybe just survive. All told, since the heavy assaults resumed following a, a failed ceasefire last month, some 360 civilians have been killed, a hundred of them children. Children, hospitals, ambulances, doctors, emergency workers, humanitarian aid workers, increasingly targeted an apparent effort by the Assad regime just to empty that place of all people. The Vatican today, Pope Francis speaking out for what he called the victims of an inhuman conflict and begging, pleading for an immediate ceasefire. But with that city mostly in ruins, efforts to restart that ceasefire seem doomed. Uh, Russian blocked efforts over the weekend of the U.N. Security Council to do something. Secretary of State Kerry's calls for Russia and Syria to be held accountable for war crimes remain just that. Calls analysts say if the bombing continues at this pace, Bill, uh, there will be nothing left of the city by December. And at least one analyst says that could be the plan of the Assad regime and its allies that they finish this dirty job over the next couple of months thinking that the Obama administration won't act just in time for the next White House occupant to take his position. Or that, that, position. Drone, yeah, that drone video was just stunning to watch, to imagine. That's been going on for five years, and now in 2016, there is no end in sight. Greg Palcott, live in London. Greg, thank you.